White Owl Barn Owl by Nicola Davies. One frosty winter day, I helped my grandpa make a big wooden box. What's it for, Grandpa? It's for the barn owls to nest in, he said. What barn owls, I asked, but Grandpa just smiled. Wait and see, he said. We carried the box across the tussocky field. Barn owls like to nest in old farm buildings or hollow tree trunks where there aren't any. They will use a nest box instead. Grandpa put the box high in the old oak tree. How do you know where there, there are barn owls here, I asked. I've seen one sitting on that branch at night, Grandpa said. Look, it's left something behind. Under the branch is a pile of little sausage-shaped blobs. They looked like dried poop, but Grandpa said they were pellets. Barn owls have favorite perches that they come back to again and again. The owls spit them out, Grandpa said, to get rid of the firm bones they can't eat. He pulled a pellet apart and showed me the tiny bowls and bones and skulls inside. Will the owl come to our box tonight? Maybe, said Grandpa. Maybe not. Owls are wild birds. You can't be sure what they'll do. Owls swallow their prey whole. That's why they need to spit out the bones and fur. In winter, barn owls have to fly miles every night to hunt enough food, so it's hard for them to, to find them. When the sun went down, we kept a lookout just in case, but we didn't see anything. We'll have to be patient, said Grandpa. We were patient lots of times. I thought we'd never see an owl. And then one spring night, just as the sky went pink, a pale face looked out of our box. An owl! A white owl! A barn owl! In spring and summer, owls stay close to their nest. And then Grandpa did a strange thing. He put his hand over his mouth and made a loud, squeaky sound. Right away, the owl took off and flew toward us. He thinks I'm a vole or a mouse in the grass, Grandpa whispered. He's coming to see if he can catch his dinner. I just held my breath. The owl's whiteness gleamed, and its face was like a pearly heart. It says, a, a barn owl's huge eyes can see when it's too dark for human eyes to work. The heart-shaped rough around the bar, barn owl's face helps to guide sound to its super sharp ears, which are just holes under the feathers on its head. The owl came closer and closer, then landed in the tree right by our hiding place. It was so light, it's hardly bent the twig it perched on. I could see the tiny ruff of feathers around its face, like stiff lace. I could see the speckled browns on its back. I could see the shine of its big, dark eyes. I could have reached out to touch its velvety softness. Under their feathers, owls are slim. Their bones are hollow, which keeps their bodies light. It makes flying easy. And then it raised its wings like an angel and took off. It was so quiet, all I heard was my own heart beating. Owls' wings' feathers are especially soft, so owls can move through the air silently and fly up to their prey without being heard. Barn owls catch their prey by pouncing with their long legs and needle-sharp talons. The owl flew back and forth over the field, then another owl came to join it. That's its mate, Grandpa whispered. One owl dropped to the ground and came up again. Look, look, Grandpa, it caught something, I said. The owl flew straight to the box and went inside. His snore, twitter, twitter, his snore. The weirdest sounds came from Grandpa's box. They've got a family, Grandpa whispered. That's the baby owl squabbling over their dinner. Barn owls lay up to six eggs, which hatch, one after another. The first chicks to hatch are the biggest, and the last to hatch are the smallest. I held Grandpa's hand, and we walked home as the moon came up. Well, the barn owls always nest in our box now, Grandpa, I said. Grandpa smiled. You know, he said, I think they might. Barn owls will come back to the same nest site year after year if it stays safe and there's enough food nearby. The end.